Nolwazi works as a fashion designer. She finds out that she is pregnant. Linda has commitment issues and doesn't feel ready to get married to Lihumo. She decided to call off the engagement. She's also preoccupied about her sick mother. Dikeledi is a professor with a little daughter. Her partner Tebogo is barely present for them. Shadi is soon to be married to her pious fiancé Winston, who insists on remaining celibate until they tie the knot. He also doesn't like her best friends and thinks that she becomes a different person when she is with them. The Kiledi, Nolwazi, Shadi and Linda are best friends who met at university and are still close now that they're approaching their 30s. On her birthday, Nolwazi tearfully reveals that she is pregnant. Despite having a partner, Dikeledi has feelings for her colleague Professor Gideon, a published best-selling author. It turns out Tebogo is Nolwazi's baby daddy. She secretly meets up with him to tell him that she's pregnant. He freaks out and orders her to get rid of it, because all he wants is getting back with Dikeledi and being in his daughter Pemelo's life again. Shadi starts to notice Winston's manipulative and controlling side when he orders her to change her clothes so as not to outshine the pastor's wife Palesa. He uses religion as a means to gaslight her. After a family outing, Tebogo proposes to Dekeledi, who accepts much to Pemelo's joy. Africa Design Fashion Week is coming up and Nolwazi is given her own ready-for-wear range. Shade meets the pastor's wife and they chat about her upcoming wedding. Winston asks Palesa to be the bride of honor. Nolwazi congratulates Tebogo on his engagement and stresses that she is keeping the baby. Tebogo points out that Dekeledi and his daughter are all that matter to him. When Shadi goes shopping for a wedding dress, both Winston and Palesa gaslight her into choosing a more appropriate and classy dress, making her feel inferior. When Linda goes home one evening, she finds her mom passed out on the floor. At the hospital, she learns that her condition is worsening. Dekeledi's relationship with Toboko is strained as he continues to prioritize his work over his family. Nolwazi confesses to her mentor that she hasn't had any inspiration for the upcoming Africa Design Fashion Week because everything in her life is falling apart. He later advises her to learn to draw inspiration from various things, especially people. Dekeledi spends some good moments with her colleague, the Professor Gideon. They learn how to dance together and have a drink at a bar where she confesses that she developed a crush on him after reading all of his books. Gideon leans forward and kisses her. Linda reached out to her estranged father, who promises not to lose touch with her ever again. On Shadi's bachelorette party, she confesses to her friends that her whole wedding has been taken away from her. She laments the fact that she can't even pick her own bridesmaid, as well as her own dress. Shadi's parents also think that Winston is the best man for her, so she's doing it to get them off her back. Later that night, both Shadi and Linda discover by chance that Tebogo is the baby's father. Nolwazi begs them not to tell the Keledi. Winston returns home drunk after his bachelor party and hits Shadi after he learned from one of his clients that she isn't a virgin. She explains that she was very young when it happened and reminds him that they all have a history. The next day, her friends pay her a visit bearing gifts and wishing her a happy birthday, but find her crying. She asks them to be there for her at the wedding with no judgment. A flashback shows a young Shadi aspiring to marry a rich husband who's gonna worship the ground she walks on. The wedding comes and Shadi marries the abusive Winston. During the ceremony, the Keledi spots Tebogo and her friend Norwazi talking secretly. Nolwazi confesses to her that he is her child's father. The Keledis calls them both, then figures out that Shadi and Linda knew about it and kept it from her. Feeling betrayed, the Keledi decides she's done with them. Nolwazi realizes that she hasn't honored her friendship with the Keledi, so she decides to name her Fashion Week collection Keddy. Months have passed after the wedding and Winston hasn't touched Shadi. He claims she needs to cleanse herself in the eye of the Lord before they consummate their marriage. Winston orders Shade to stop working now that she is married. He uses the church to manipulate her into looking after her family and giving up her dream job. He also wants her to stop seeing her friends since they're unmarried. On Dekeledi's birthday, the three women visit her house with flowers and a cake. Dekeledi turns them away despite Nolwazi apologizing. She has decided to put an end to their friendship. Later, Gideon wishes her a happy birthday and consoles her when he sees her crying. He makes her realize that friendships are not always meant to be perfect. 
When Linda's mother passes away, the Kaledi is the first to console her. When Olwazi goes into labor, the friends including the Kaledi come and wait outside her hospital room. Nolwazi decides to name her baby girl after Linda's mother, Shibukazi, and the friends make up. Shade decides to leave Winston. She packs her bags, however she catches him cheating on her with the pastor's wife. The Kaledi starts going out with her crush Gideon, Linda is dating a new guy called Kennedy, and the four girls continue to thrive as close friends.